guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I am the founder and CEO of Daughter of Increase Ministries, that is DOI Ministries, and here on this channel, I hope you guys to increase in your faith and relationship with God in Christ through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. And I do that by posting twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday, and occasionally on Tuesdays. So if you have not done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to click the bell to stay notified of when I post a new video, to like this video by clicking the thumbs up button, and to share this video on your social media platforms or with your family members and or with your friends. And as the title says above, this is sort of a sit down talk video on some updates that are going to be taking place over the course of August into next year. And I'm so excited, so excited, so excited. You guys do not understand the excitement that I feel right now. Um, and I'm gonna try to keep this as short as possible because before I can share any upcoming videos I'm gonna be doing, I kinda gotta sit down and talk with you guys about the kind of changes that are gonna be taking place. And um, it might require me to change my schedule come september august i'm debating on that i might not change it honestly i might just change the type of videos i do often but i'm super super excited and so yeah this requires me to share a little bit of a background story um which also means that i do have to share a testimony video really really soon with you guys sooner than i expected um i am a little bit behind on sharing a few of my testimonies with you guys and so this requires me to share a college testimony with you all so i will be having my college testimony coming really soon in the month of may fingers crossed may june that video will be coming let me take a sip of my coffee um i'm drinking nespresso jamaican blue mountain um with the international delights french vanilla creamer and some french vanilla syrup from is it sarani i think it's sarani no not sarani Tarani, I think it is. I think. Um, but that's what I'm sipping on. I needed something a little strong. I was going to put my glasses on, but I don't like the light. So, we're just not going to do them. We're just not. But um, I have papers here in front of me. I have my other phone. Just because this is going to be a little bit of a... Not long video, but long video. Because I have other videos that go with this video to share with you all. But this is concerning college as i mentioned pretty much since i do have to share my college testimony in, in upcoming videos but um if you guys don't know i have been wanting to go back to school for a very 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 long time um i've been out of school for 10 years um i left school in early 2013 no early 2012 so i've been out of school 11 years i left school february 20 2012 um due to financial reasons and i have gone to three different universities um and me saying that i know when people hear me say i've been to three universities people automatically assume that i had like flunked out of school no i never flunked out of any of my schools i did great in all of my schools i almost flunked out my freshman year almost but i did not i transferred schools three times um pretty much due to financial reasons however i will say the main reason of me transferring is because i never really enjoyed um the schools that i were what was in and i felt like i settled my first two colleges that i went to um the first school that i went to i was in because it was in state um but it was extremely expensive it was fifty seven thousand for in state fifty seven thousand for in state tuition and i was in new york at the time so I think it was 57 or 48,000. 48,000 or 57,000. One of the two. Um, but it was extremely expensive for in-state students. And um, I was doing... I stayed on campus my first semester. And then I did um, commuter my second semester. Did not care for it at all. And I pretty much partied my first semester. Um, and also my second semester just because that's when things kind of transpired with my family. Um, and so I transferred out after my first year at that school. Um, and then my second year of college, I moved to Jersey and I stayed on campus for a semester. And then I transferred out of that school to, um, a different state 
and in my third college I actually excelled I actually ended up leaving there after a semester um, again due to financial reasons um, but I left my third college with a 3.57 GPA on the Dean's list um, and I can tell you guys my changes in school not only was because of different states as well as because of financial reasons but also it was due to my major and so when I first went into college I majored in um, pre-law and accounting and the reason why I did that is because growing up I watched a lot of like law shows and business shows and everybody made it seem like majoring in law and business was like the way to go I took my first pre-law class hated it hated it um, and I failed almost every economics class that I took um, failed it hated it so much it was like not for me um, and so after freshman year, I was like, yeah, not doing pre-law. Um, after sophomore year, I was like, yeah, economics is not for me. I'm not doing business. I'm not doing it. Just not doing accounting. Um, I transferred into fashion merchandise and retail marketing. I excelled it and I loved my classes. Loved it so much. Um, and it was the major for me. Like, I loved the paper aspect. And I just, I liked the course as a whole. The experience as a whole was amazing for me. I still had to take a accounting and economics classes of course however it was a lot better than it was with taking accounting and pre-law as a major and so for me my biggest advice if anybody's watching this as a high school student or a college freshman college um student i would say seek god in picking your college and seek god in your major because i did not do that i allowed society to determine my major um because it seemed cool right to say i wanted to be a lawyer or it seemed cool to say that i wanted to be an accountant or work in business you know, mm -mm, mm -mm, no. Um, I'm not saying that business isn't great because I still think I would take business administration or anything within business, but saying specifically accounting, you know, mm -mm, not doing it. Um, so that's what I faulted at was just doing it because it seemed like it would get me get money or it seemed like it would be um, a great job to have, but it wasn't something that I was really invested in at all. And well, honestly, I always wanted to be a dancer growing up. That was just what I wanted to be. But, you know, parents don't always agree with that decision. Um, and when I say a dancer, I mean, like, an actual ballet dancer, um, an actual, like, dancer in the industry. Um, and when I say industry, I don't mean, like, hip-hop industry. I mean, like, actual ballerina, Broadway-style dancer. <laughs> that was what I've always wanted to do. Um, but, you know, God has just other plans for me, clearly. Um, so... The changes. I had looked into a particular school. I think I mentioned it a few times on the channel that I looked into Moody um, Bible Institute. And, and so, you know, I always wanted to look into Moody. And so after watching Ashley and her sister, and I can't remember her sister's name at the moment, but they are the sisters of Coffee and Bible Time um, here on YouTube. I watched them do their vlogs on Moody and it kind of you know continued to spark my interest watching their vlogs and things like that and um I kept trying to apply but there was always a situation with um the transcript the trans pretty much getting my transcript right now from um my last college is a bit of an issue because of holds um and if you guys know anything about holds with your colleges um it has nothing to do with like my financial um financial aid from like the government but everything with financial aid from colleges itself because you get your you get loans from the government and then you get loans from the actual universities themselves and so I do own the I do owe the school money and so I do have to get that settled which I did call them and figure out what that was about found out how much it was got to work on that and so um if I can get at least 50 percent of that paid off they'll release it for one time which will work out so I have to figure that out within the year or so and so um you know it was an issue and so I've been in communication with the admissions office for over <laughs> four years and so last year I attended their virtual experience for Moody um which is how I actually got this shirt I got this shirt and some other stuff from them and a book um from the I think it's the, the school's uh president he wrote a book called Unstuck I have that book somewhere on my shelf and I want to read it um, I think it's actually over on this shelf um, over here, but I got that book. I got this shirt and some other stuff um, because I attended their virtual experience and um, I definitely was like this close to attending, but again, transcript situation. And so 
again this year I, I you know sent my information in and I have been in a little bit more contact with a different admissions counselor and the admission counselor had told me about the certificate program and then a different program um, and so with the certificate program they still require your transcript which kind of bumped me out but then she told me about the non-degree program and pretty much what the non-degree program is is that if you're doing it you can apply as a undergraduate and a graduate so with the undergraduate you can take up to 18 credits and with the graduate you can take up to 12 credits and so with the 12 credits you're taking four classes and with the undergraduate you're taking up to six classes so basically you can audit the school right um you'll get the credits but they only apply when you fully transfer in right and so pretty much i can take a year and a half right at the school I'm an actual student at the school, but the credits don't apply until I completely transfer in as an undergraduate student, right? And so I said, you know what, let me try it out because I do want to attend the school. Like this is a school that I've had on my radar for over four years. This is a school I've been wanting to apply to for years. And um, I know that I want to either major in biblical studies or theology. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards more so biblical studies, but theology is also another field that I want to go They're They're kind of similar the only difference is biblical studies is more so focused on ministry personal ministry church ministry whereas theology is a mix of ministry and um corporate um pretty much they kind of help you with working um with those biblical corporate skills as well as um ministry skills if that makes sense um that's pretty much the difference at least that's how they explain it on their uh website for the education portion and so I um, got the information from the counselor which was she's been absolutely phenomenal and we've been in contact consistently and things like that um, and so she sent me the information and so I ended up applying I applied on the I started my application on the 11th and I had to wait to pay the fee um, and so then I paid the fee on the 15th and so I finished my application on the 15th and the, the fee is $35 um, so it's pretty much the same application process as like you're applying into the school minus the essay and the the letters because if you apply to the school you need to write an essay um you also need a letter from your pastor of your church um you also need a letter of recommendation from like someone else that you know within ministry or whatever the case may be so it's like a whole process a whole process which is amazing but it's a process so i was like okay you know i, I don't have to really fill all that out but you do have to be um active in church and if you're not active in a church you have to explain why or why not or something like that um and my only issue at first was it says are you active in a protestant church and at first i had put no and then i was going to explain that my church was a non-denominational but before i submitted my application i fixed it and said yes and then when you click on yes it does ask you what denomination your church is so just anybody if you're interested i'll leave the application process down but like the application information down below if you're interested um but yeah so it's down below but um yeah so i applied on the 15th completed the application on the 15th sent it in and actually got accepted on the 17th you guys um i got the congratulations we're delighted to inform you that you've been admitted um for the fall of 2023 semester and so um i can take up to 18 hours of college credit which can be transferred into a certificate or degree seeking program and so term activation starts may 1st however i actually was able to register for my classes the other day so i have already registered for two of my classes i have picked out all six of the classes that i want to take um but yeah i registered for two of my classes already and i am so darn excited you guys don't understand so yeah i am going to school um it's not the way that i want but i will say that god has opened this door it's a start for me to get everything else in order. It's a start. And considering everything else that has been going on, if you guys know, you know, right? Um, God has found a way, or God has made a way, right? In the midst of the chaos, in the midst of the storm, and in the midst of the almost 11 years of me not having been in school and me desiring to go back to school. Because if people know, I am the one who wants to go back to school. I am the one who wants to work a nine to five, right? And so this is something that I've been, one of the things that I've been desiring, more so wanting to work, but school has definitely been something that I've been desiring to do and go back to. I love school. I like papers. I like textbooks. I like research. Like that's me. I'm her. Like 
that I am the one who will do a paper. I might stress over that paper, but she me. You say you write an essay, and my essay might be like five pages, okay? That's just me. Okay? But okay, you, you could tell because I like to teach. I like, I like to research. That's just me. So I am so ecstatic about going back to school. And so, um, yeah, I have my student ID and everything like that. And so, like I said, I'm going for biblical studies. And so the way that I picked out my classes is I do have, like, the course program plan already for the past year that passed and I pretty much looked at it and picked out some of the core classes for like the freshman year first year courses um and then also the second year courses and I picked out some of the classes from there to try to take that way I don't have to really pretty much take those when I do completely transfer in um and so yeah I have my school ID number I have my school um email address I have my user ID information like I am officially a student at Moody Bible Institute um, and I am like so excited and so the courses I'm going to be taking um, the six classes that I decided to take I'm going to be doing the Old Testament survey I'm going to be taking New Testament survey um, I'm going to be taking interpreting scripture studying and teaching the Bible hermeneutic slash Bible study methods, and I'm debating on method for biblical theology. That's a class I'm debating on. I might switch that last class. I'm not sure. Um, but some of these classes do have the option of taking 16-week um, courses. And so basically the way Moody works is they have eight-week courses, or you can do the online self-paced, which is going to be a 16-week course. And so the ones that are only eight-week courses, I'm just going to do an eight-week course because the way their semesters work is that they're done in two sessions, um, which is great. So instead of it being four months, you have two months for the first session and then two months for the next session. Um, and then you have some that are completely 16 weeks, which are the four months. And so um, for this semester, I have the Old Testament survey that I'm taking for the first two months, um, which is going to be from August to October. And then um, for October to December, I'm going to be taking the New Testament survey. And so like I said, I have already registered for my classes. I'm trying to figure out where to show this without revealing so much of my information. Okay, is this the best way to show it? None of my information is on here. But yeah, I registered for two of my classes. So yeah, August 22nd, I start my Old Testament survey class and it ends on October 16th. And then October 24th to December 18th, I start New Testament survey. And then um, I will then register for the next two classes that I want to take. Um, but yeah, I will be going back to school and I'm so excited. I also have all the information um, on the syllabus already as far as like exams and essays and quizzes and the, the, you know the materials that I need and so for the syllabus it does tell you like the required readings and so I do have a list of the four books that I'm going to need already and so I do have those listed and I know someone is going to ask and so what I did do is I do have a link down below if you so desire because I know I get asked all the time people will message me on Instagram or Facebook I'm putting it out there you do not have to if you do not want to okay I'm just saying this um one I'm doing this because I know people are gonna ask and two I'm being honest you guys know my situation and so if you desire to if you want to if you if you desire to and if you want to you can sell into this um, the link is down below for Amazon. It will be the college. It'll say college wish list. I don't know. It'll say something with college. Um, it will have a link to all of the books that are going to be required for this semester specifically um, with the books that I'm going to be requiring for class. Um, and so it's just going to have the four books required for this class uh, for, for these two classes. I'm not going to put the other books required for the other classes because I'm not registered for those right now. I'm enrolled specifically in these two classes. So it's down below, it's just four books. Um, and then um, I am debating on getting a, another Bible. So I have the interleague Bible, the NKJV one um, that I just got, and I was gonna use that as my sermon Bible, but I'm debating on either using that one or getting an ESV one, um, because either way, I'm gonna have to buy another interleague anyway. And so I'm debating if I want to just use the hardcover one that I have now from Thomas Nelson for my classes or just get a softcover ESV one or just get the NKJV softcover. I don't know. I don't know. 
so we trying to figure that out but um yeah i'm going back to school i'm going back to school um and so i do have to get four textbooks like they are required readings they put the course materials already on here um including the bible um and things like that and everything is online my classes are all online i do have lectures i believe that i do have to attend however it looks specifically says lectures um are required for this class so i think i do have lectures they don't give me like full information as of yet but it does say component lecture required and so i don't know who my instructor is as of yet um they don't have their instructor yet nor do they have like days and times yet but um i do like that i have to mondays at 11 59 p.m central standard time which is going to be confusing because that means i'm going to have to fix all of my timing situation to understand central time because i know that's different from eastern standard time which kind of worries because that means i think i think for eastern it would be either t one or two in the morning one or two in the morning i think don't quote me on that if i'm wrong the correct time is on the screen um i think it's one or two hours behind central um i don't know but um yeah there's study materials there's there's discussion boards and then i have to like respond to you know threads and things like that there's assignments that are that need to be done class participation and stuff like that and then on here they specifically give me like all the assessments that are going to be done all the quizzes the reflections the essays that need to be done the worksheets that are going to be done um yeah and so old testament theology <laughs> old testaments are we going <laughs> like new testament i'm gonna have fun with because i enjoy the new testament the old testament is a lot heavier for me and so you know i am not looking forward to all the um because <laughs> it, it likes it goes through genesis and exodus together then you go through leviticus numbers numbers deuteronomy and Job. then you do joshua to second samuel then you go through first kings to esther then you do the wisdom books except Job. then you go through the major prophets and then the minor prophets and i'm feeling like oh just oh you have to do a synthesis paper um we have to do we're gonna go through the psalms we have worksheets we have quiz <laughs> yeah and everything like all these syllabus talk about the mla format which i have to also get that workbook um i think i have it somewhere on the shelf behind here there's a shelf that i have behind here that talks about mla and apa but i might have to get the updated version because the one i have is like real old um and so yeah it, mla just this stuff is so old and it talks about purdue online like the owl i haven't heard owl in years owl was the online writing lab y'all i feel like i'm back in 2009 freshman year of college but um yeah i i'm honestly super super excited for this um and like i said even though it's not the full experience that i want of being a full-term transfer student um and i did let the school know already that when i do transfer in i want to start over completely as a freshman um and so they did acknowledge that however they still require your transcript to see um just your history with your previous college which bummed me out because I wish they didn't require my transcript because then I could have just transferred in completely without issue. But um, they still require the transcript. So, you know, it is what it is. But I do, yeah, I'm already registered for my two classes. I will say when you're a non-degree student, you do not get financial aid from the school at all and you cannot apply for financial aid. And so you do have to pay out of pocket. It is not a lot. Um, I think each class it is 380 per credit hour and it's three credits and so i believe it's about 1140 um per class so you're paying 1140 dollars per class i'm taking two classes right at a time and so um you know i would say average about 3500 um but they do have payment plans and the reason why i'm saying average 3500 is because you got to keep in mind you do have to get your textbooks um, which are required readings, whether you're getting physical copies or ebooks, um, and whether you need to buy any other materials. Um, luckily, I already own like pens and stuff like that. I am still gonna go buy school supplies because I feel like I deserve to go buy school supplies because I ain't been in school in over 11 years. Um, but you know, book supply haul is coming, school supply haul is coming. Um, 
definitely going to be doing it. I wanted to do like a whole register with, you know, register for classes with me blog. But literally yesterday, you know, I've been on the website ever since I got my information for school. Um, I've been on like the my Moody account and everything. And like yesterday I was on it and I said, you know, let me check again. Because I already had like a whole planner set up with my classes that I wanted to take. And yeah, it popped up where I was able to actually register. And I registered immediately. I was like awestruck and everything. I registered immediately for class. So yeah, I was able to record that because I was dumbfounded that it was actually like happening but yeah um I'm going to school um and again you know cash app is down below paypal is down below um yeah everything's down below if you desire to sew into it if you desire to help me if you desire to buy anything off the amazon wish list down below again you do not have to I let you guys know all the time you don't have to but many of you guys always message me on the side asking how you can help how you can sew and um i truly do appreciate it you guys don't understand how much i do appreciate it i just love the support you guys give me by commenting or watching the videos but those who do choose to help my sewing into the daughter of increased ministry or just me in general as a person it means a lot to me um and so again you don't have to i'm not sitting here saying you have to but if you desire to all the information is in the description box down below um but yeah i'm so excited i'm so excited like i'm a moody student i go to moody bible institute there are no words there are no words like i'm thinking of doing an actual like trip to, to chicago to tour the campus um one day just one day I want to just take a trip to Chicago and tour the campus I don't think I would ever like when I do transfer and I don't think I would go as like an actual like on-campus student just because Chicago is not my vibe it's not my vibe um just not for me but <laughs> I would love to just go to the campus one day to just see it um but yeah I I go to Moody and my first two classes um are going to be Old Testament survey and New Testament survey and I start August 22nd, my first class, and I'm so excited. You guys don't understand the excitement that I feel. My family has been like so excited for me. I told my pastor, my bishop, I told my church family, my son, I told him. Um, he was actually here with me when I got the news, which was even more exciting. You guys know the situation that's been going on. When I got the email, he was here and it was like amazing. Like I wanted to cry. Um, because it happened when he was here when I got the email saying that I got in so yeah um, so yeah I'm gonna have a whole thing because I am gonna buy a book bag I am reorganizing my room setting it up I'm getting a new bed getting an additional desk like I'm changing everything in here because you know we're back in school so she has to get ready she has to give school vibes you know you know you know you know um, I'm probably gonna be like a little out of it because excitement and all but you know yeah um and yeah i just wanted to update you guys on that because like i said videos might change because just looking at the coursework i'm just, just slightly overwhelmed slightly I'm not gonna lie i'm just i'm slightly overwhelmed but i'm more excited than overwhelmed um and the reason why i am overwhelmed is because obviously mom life um obviously you know leader in ministry obviously administration in ministry obviously i work closely with both my bishop and my pastor in ministry um and so you know ministry work doi work being a mom and then you know school work slightly slightly overwhelming but i know that god doesn't give me more than i can bear and if i can weather what's currently going on i know that i can make it through and if he made a way for me to even get into this non-degree program, which I didn't even know was a thing. Like, I never knew that this was a thing. And I have been on this school's website for over four years, you guys. So the fact that I have been on the school's website for over four years and never knew that this was a thing. We, 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 we don't know. Um, and it's kind of a win-lose because it sucks that I can't be like a... And I don't like to say a full, like a real student because I am a real student because I clearly have a school ID. Like, if I went to the school, I could give the school my ID and get access to everything the school offers, right? But, yeah, I, I gotta stop saying that, because I'm a student at Moody. It is what it is. I am a Moody student. Like, I have a Moody student ID. I have a Moody email address. <sighs> Y'all, it's just, you know, 
God does things the way he does things and his timing and his perfect timing and his perfect will and his perfect way. And, you know, I'm in a very strange season right now. Very strange, unusual season. And, um, yeah, I'm just flowing with how God is moving right now. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. I am going back to school in August. Um, it is official. I have registered for my classes. Um, officially registered for my two classes. And right now I'm taking AB programs. I think in this spring I will be doing the 16 week programs. We'll see. Um, the reason why I'm going to do it that way is because I do want to stretch out <laughs> the courses um, until I can completely transfer in. That's why I'm doing it that way. Um, because I can only take up to 18 credits. And so if I can milk it until I can transfer in, I'm going to milk it until I can pay off. Um, what I need to pay off in order to get my transcript. And like I said, with my previous college, if I can pay off 50% of what I owe, they'll release it one time to my school because my old college no longer gives out unofficial transcripts, which sucks. Um, if I was able to get my unofficial transcript, then it would have been fine, but they no longer release unofficial transcripts, which, dumb. But, uh, neither here nor there. So, that's that. Um... So yeah, the next video, I don't know, it might be a school supply haul, probably in July, I don't know, because I'm going to be working on getting my books. Um, I'm going to wait to get the books because I don't, again, I don't know if any of you will do so, and so I don't want to buy the books and then you guys want to be a blessing to me to then get the books and then I'll have like triple the books, I don't want to do that. And so I will wait. Um, and like I said, all the links are down below if you want to. So through Cash App, through PayPal, through Zelle, through Amazon, the wishlist is down below. Um, it'll say college wishlist. Um, I will have the work, the four work, the, the, the four workbooks. Um, I'll probably put a few school supplies and the bible i'm looking into because like i said i'm looking into getting an interleave i don't know if i want to use the one that i have now because the one that i have now i said i specifically wanted to use for sermon writing but i don't know if i want to use that one right now for school because it's hardcover i don't know i also need to get a book bag and that, that might sound ridiculous to say i want a book bag but it makes sense in my head because if i decide to go to starbucks for the day to do school work i'm obviously going to need a bag to put all that in so I, I got plans okay i got plans for future vlogs like come to starbucks with me for the day to do school work right come to the library with me with me for the day to do like i got plans right and i don't found a few different barnes and nobles or starbucks and listen i got plans i got future vlog ideas okay future vlog ideas i'm just saying so that's that on that um but yeah i'm going back to school i'm going back to school you guys so i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited so that is it for this video as long as I expected it to be so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go just wanted to update you all um on the changes that are becoming I don't want to change my schedule I do want to stick to the Wednesday Saturday schedule um I might take Tuesdays out I mean I do Tuesdays every now and then um Tuesdays might come out honestly uh but I'm gonna try my best to stick to Mondays and Mondays and Saturdays Mondays and Saturdays what Wednesdays and Saturdays if I find um that it does get complicated after september i will switch my schedule and stick to just saturdays um but because my classes are online and everything is not that hard to do we'll see we'll see i'll try to pick one day out of the week to just do bulk recording we'll figure it out but um i'm gonna try to stick to my schedule as is um is somebody calling me Sorry guys, my other phone. Oh, oh, sorry guys. <laughs> Just got a text. Okay, I will answer in a second. But um, it was a good text, y'all. But yeah, um, I have more videos as I'm preparing and stuff like that. Um. I'm excited, but that definitely means I have to be more mindful of my spending because things are coming out of pocket. Luckily, my family is going to assist me um, 
and this is why the job opportunity that I got um, has been put on hold like I said I've been in contact with the place but it's been hard because all of a sudden the manager has not been in like the manager has been on vacation or the manager hasn't been able to come into work and so like I I don't know and I know everything is you know in God's timing and things like that and so I was excited at first for the place for the position because it's like a job that I would be great at and everything it worked out so well the scheduling was amazing because it was perfect timing perfect pay and then this opportunity fell in my lap so it's like two opportunities fell in my lap but it's like I want the schooling one more and so God is working it out I would appreciate you know I could use that fu the funds for that but then I also got a gig to do in October <laughs> literally um so it's everything when I say God is working everything out phenomenally and it's all so hilarious to me how he's working it out i still want that position like that job because it's something that i would love to do um but because i don't know my schedule right now with school specifically especially because i have lectures and i don't know the date and time because it literally says to be determined like it says tba so i don't know who my instructor is right now and i don't know the days and times of my actual lectures because like, i have to take lectures um i can't really commit right now to the like I can take the position and they can give it to me and then come August I'd have to kind of change my hours if anything like I don't know so I know God is doing what he does um so I just have to trust him and so that position right now I don't know if I if I should just let it go I don't know I'm just letting God do what he does and so you know Trusting God is never easy. Trusting God requires me to die of myself. John 3.30. Less of me, more of him. Um, and it hurts a lot, you know, especially when you're dealing with other things that are going on. The things that I'm dealing with, it, it hurts a lot. Like this whole situation I'm dealing with now, um, if you guys know, you know, if not, go back to previous videos. Dealing with all of this requires me to die of myself every day and to continue to feel every emotion I'm feeling, to continue to forgive, to continue to love in the midst of the hurt and the pain, um, and trust that God knows best, to trust that he has my best interests at heart, um, and to trust that he will, even in the midst of the tears, be there for me. And he's providing. He is showing me. He's revealing things to me. He is giving blessings in the midst of it all. Um, and where I think certain things are moving slow, where I think things are messed up, <laughs> straight up, like where I think things are just messed up, he should be moving a little bit faster. He's orchestrating things in such a way that I'm just like in awe. I'm such in awe. And there are certain things that I don't think I would have done or stepped out on um, if things would not have gone the way they've gone. It sounds crazy to say, but, you know, he's a good, good father. Good, good father. Um, he's amazing in all his ways. And um, despite what I'm currently going through, I appreciate the go through I appreciate the pain <laughs> it's hard to say that but I do appreciate the pain um and everything in between and so yeah I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys in the next video if you watch this video all the way to the end post this book bag because I'm going back to school I'm going back to school I'm so so excited I'm so excited I'm nervous and I gotta figure out everything in between financially and um getting all that I need but I know God will supply because he opened the door. And so, yeah, it's it's a new era. It's a new season. And I'm excited. I'm excited, y'all. I'm a Moody Bible Institute student. And y'all know I'm about to get me some gear. They got some fire hoodies. They got some, some caps. Caps mean it's like some hats. I'm definitely going to get my hands on. Um, They got some shirts. And so they got this shirt, but it's like in a v-neck. Definitely got to get. Um, And so, yeah, I was looking on the website and everything like that. They also got a mug, and I, I need the coffee mug. So, I definitely do have a cart full of, like, Moody Bible apparel. 
and um i'm probably going to do it probably no time soon but um definitely by the time the fall semester starts i'm gonna have some moody apparel because you know when it's time for a lecture and i don't feel like getting dressed i'm just gonna throw on a moody bible apparel you know why not why not rep the school that i'm a part of like why not and i never was the type of student to rep her school like i never listen when i was in college i never cared to buy school apparel i was just i never bought school apparel i never attended most of my school events unless it was like a party i didn't care to attend school events honestly i was just one of them kids like i enjoyed campus life but i never took full advantage of campus life and so it's kind of different now because i'm like all for moody and i think it's because of the school that i'm attending and what it's about right i mean i can study the word god all day like i'm here for it i'm here for it so <laughs> y'all pay me no mind but i'm gonna go i'm gonna go and i will see you guys in the next video bye